Hello and welcome back to this online video blog and thanks for all your comments. Keep them coming and I'll try and cover some of the issues that folk email in about. The big issue this week of course, apart from the uh, Randy Murray and the tennis, is that the UK is officially out of recession. Um, just nudged out of recession of course. Um, but that's a real relief I think for many people. But without, before getting ahead of ourselves and kind of politicians patting themselves in the back on a job well done or a job finished, that's not where we are at all and this recovery is still fragile and an awful lot of people are still struggling the people coming to my surgeries every week who still need continued support and advice people who have just lost their jobs and I think that of course the economists might have said officially we're out of recession but I think there's still going to be some um, very difficult days ahead on employment and unemployment and of course we need to make sure the banks get lending into small businesses and that's a big job that we've still got to do so yep good news um, but it's it'd be wrong to uh, pop the champagne or anything of that nature because there's a, a few months ahead to make sure that this recession um, we're fully leave, left it fully behind and the recovery is sustained. Um, so I'll keep people posted on that and I'd be interested to hear people's opinions. I spent today back at Calderwood Lodge, the local school, um, predominantly Jewish school, but a large number of people of other faiths, including the um, student and the Muslim children at that school now. And I met this wonderful teacher um, from Tennessee. Now, I've got a news story on about this, but basically in a way to commemorate the Holocaust. Um, it seemed strange at the time, but they decided to collect a million paper clips. They ended up with 30 million to symbolise a paper clip for every victim of Nazi oppression um, of all sorts during that, that era. Now, the local school here in Calderwood Lodge has decided to take their own version of that and trying to collect 15,000 buttons in commemoration of the 15,000 children who were murdered at Theresen during the Holocaust. So I don't think they're aiming for the 30 million of that little school in Tennessee. But if you want to get involved in what I think is a really excellent initiative by the school children themselves, I'm getting in touch with Calderwood Lodge, send them a button or two, because they're going to turn it into, I think, a lasting memorial to the victims and the children, um, the child victims of the Holocaust and the details of how to get in touch with Calderwood Lodge or on the website. But it was a really inspirational story, um, this movie about paper clips. I remember when I went to see it, I thought, this, was, this sounds a strange thing to do. And it may sound strange that you're listening to me talking about it, but it's a really inspirational story about the power of young people um, learning the lessons of history. And I'll post details of that movie from Tennessee on the website as well. And finally, I was pleased to see that the council has now announced an, ex an extra quarter of a million pounds to re repair some of our most damaged roads. We all know that the recent weather caused additional problems in our roads, but there were some problems there, as we all know, before that. So that quarter of a million pounds, which myself and Ken McIntosh, the local MSP, campaigned for, is good news. It should see some improvements, and we'd like to see continued improvements in our roads. Um, so that's all I want to say this week. Get in touch with your ideas, um, your suggestions, your questions, either for the online video blog or for any stories or blog you would like to see me cover in the, in the next coming days and weeks. Thanks very much.